evening, perhaps, everyone. Thank you, and welcome to the NetApp presentation in track six, I believe, of Cloud Slam 10. I am Val Bercovici, and uh, my current role at NetApp is as the Cloud Czar, where I focus on a lot of internal coordination and external communications activities with regards to all things cloud, particularly with regards to storage. I also have the honor of chairing the SNEA, which is the Storage Network Industry Association Cloud Storage Initiative. And I'll discuss a little bit later on what that means and some of the uh, various interesting things we're doing to bring, we believe, the first open cloud standard to market. The uh, title of today's talk and uh, the focus of the discussion will be on infrastructures and specifically on how you can get uh, high economies of scale. So economies of cloud scale infrastructure is what we're going to focus most of our time on. What I will do is try and wrap through a number of slides and hopefully leave a little bit of time for the online Q&A via the WebEx mechanism, uh, understanding that we have a 30-minute time limit here this, this morning, at least for me, uh, out here in the Pacific time zone in California. We're not going to spend too much time uh, defining the cloud again, uh, certainly <laughs> this being the second cloud slam. Uh, a lot of people hopefully are fairly well grounded in terms of the basics of cloud. But one of the things I like to do is talk about how we really are entering the, the industrial revolution era of cloud. And for those of you that know your history books, you may recall that um, the industrial revolution itself brought upon a fair amount of change uh, in, in all sorts of parameters and dimensions for humanity. Um, it was actually driven back uh, back then about 100, 150 years ago by a lot of new technology, a lot of new manufacturing technology, a lot of new farming technology, and it brought about uh, a lot of societal change, social change. Um, you know, we went from being a, a much more agrarian society in the past to being a much more urban society with a lot of migration off of farms into uh, into cities and rapid growth uh, and human interaction at close range as opposed to, you know, having neighbors many, many miles away brought along, uh, brought upon a lot of change. And certainly it opened up a lot of new markets. Uh, you know, classic example being perhaps the automobile was brought about by uh, innovations in the Industrial Revolution. And we're seeing the same kind of thing right now. It's a very exciting time in the cloud era. Uh, on the other hand, you know, the Internet itself as a concept and this as a new tool was exciting 15 years ago, and uh, it won't be much longer before we treat cloud, you know, as quaintly as we, we treat just the basic Internet or broadband access today. So things will evolve. But the key thing is, uh, you know, whereas technology drove a lot of societal change in the Industrial Revolution itself, we're actually seeing uh, a lot of social trends and behavior, generational trends and behavior in particular, driving the change enabled by technology in the cloud today. And one of the key things to focus on is really the, the younger generation of users out there that really grew up uh, with, you know, mobility and access to information, access to, uh, to people via mobile phones, for example, at any time. And many of them actually uh, that are in industry today are in business graduated during Y2K, they're a group known as the Millennials, they're actually in positions of power and influence within private and public sector enterprise today. And these are the kinds of people that really never grew up um, even knowing what a busy signal is, quite frankly. So there's an expectation in terms of real-time behavior, in terms of responsiveness of the service, that is one of the, I think, under-discussed and perhaps uh, hidden secrets or untapped potential of cloud computing in general, and it's one of the areas I'll focus on with regards to uh, infrastructure, best practices, recommendations, and how to get to the, those uh, elusive economies of scale. Uh, one of the things that makes discussing cloud so interesting and at times perhaps even challenging are the multiple correct perspectives of what it really means. So to get a really holistic, well-rounded perspective, you want to think uh, ideally, first and foremost, from an executive perspective, because quite frankly, executives are the ones that are going to be cutting the checks and making the final decisions on where to take appropriate risks and where to leverage opportunities in the cloud marketplace. Uh, there are technology executives, which 